Whether leading a research expedition in the Antarctic or an event with his residence hall, there's a certain way Dan Morgan wants to be. You know, I like being an optimist, and it's, e like, it's easy to be an optimist. And I always say, though, it's, it's really ultimately the students that make me an optimist. Morgan and his young family call Memorial House on the Ingram Commons home. I mean, in some ways, the boys basically have 1,600 big brothers and sisters now. Creating an environment for sharing. So one of the things we do in the house here, um, we go on hikes every month, and all those casual conversations that somehow become deep conversations and get really engaged. Those are really fun parts about being a college student here. The other part of Morgan's Vanderbilt world takes him deep into the Antarctic. And it's, it's really fun being in the field because there's definitely a, a spirit of adventure. A lot of my latest work is really looking at rates of deglaciation. So what I mean by that is how quickly did glaciers and ice sheets retreat in the past? modeling how fast glaciers may melt in the future. You know, we need to be able to predict for water supplies, you know, how much fresh water are we going to be able to get out of glaciers? How much drinking water is going to come out of them? How's that going to impact ecosystems as water resources decline that way? Embracing an open mind and adventure wherever he goes. It's not just about coming and taking classes and moving on to the next thing. It's about taking the time to get to know each other, to build a community here, to be optimists.